G'day guys, we are here for the 2019 Port to Port Mountain Bike four day stage event. Here we are at Cypress Lakes. The first challenge of the week, the time trial and getting through the registration line. This is Paul's Port Report. We're gonna go on the underbelly of the event to catch the vibe, to talk to everyone we can find and just to have a bit of fun. Let's check it out. <laughs> How are we going? Prologue on the Wednesday afternoon is a, a, a good start, a good change up. We'll see, see who comes out firing, especially now that's pairs as well. We give you a uh, report of the course. It's grassy. It's, it's grassy at the moment. No, no, this isn't the course. I better go find it. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, hello. I've just come back from a lap out on the course. Who do we have here? Callum Carson and Tom Green. What are we on? Trek Shimano? Mismatch shorts though, that's a bit of a no-no. It's mostly on the golf buggy terrain, but there's a few sneaky lines on the inside. It's uh, up to interpretation of the riders. It's short, it's sharp, it's gonna be really intense. We've just done a 1.7 kilometer flat out pursuit. Um, blood in the lungs? Yeah, it really hurt. I had to dig pretty deep. Samara is pretty much a celebrity here in Australia, but you're not as well known. Um, where, where have you come from? Um, so I'm from Wellington, New Zealand. Uh, windy Wellington? Uh, very windy. Yeah, yeah. A little bit colder than here as well. So if you see a headwind, you'll be pretty stoked. You'll be like, here we go. I'm used to this. Oh, we're loving it. <laughs> <laughs> and what you guys think is strong, it's just like a still day in Wellington. Yeah, so. that's, that's just a breath. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Andy Blair with the French moustache. It looked good. Yeah, it looks good out there, doesn't it? You know, the sun's just, just gone. We've missed the golden hour when it was really at its best. But, uh, what about, is it waxed? Yeah, it's waxed. What yeah. sort of wax are you using? Captain Fawcett's something. Captain There's a guy on it. He's full of credibility on the front. <laughs> the little guy on the ointment thing. Oh, yeah. It's ye olde wax, yeah. mate. It's the go. Right down here from the Acom. <laughs> we rode along the road for a little bit. It was like, oh, apparently it's just a buggy track. Can't be too hard. Yeah, I came in uh, fresh out of the car, feeling pretty pretty strong. So I thought, look, <laughs> no practice. Let's just um, let's just hit the line, hit the line running, and off we go. But man, that, that was a hard effort. Um, lungs are burning right now. You know what they they say for for this sort of illness I'm suffering is a, a big steak from the uh, Cypress Lakes uh, Country Club here. Maybe a maybe a vino. I think we both did our uh, fair share of hard work there. That was not easy by uh, any means, but you know, it's good spectacle and I hope everyone enjoyed it. It was tough, but the real race is to come in the next four days. Can you confirm or deny that you've just coughed up your lunch? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it came out. We well, got out of Jaden that he spewed. Are you happy about that? It means he's willing to work hard enough as it takes to win this race, yes. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Jaden Ward here. He's coughing up his lunch. He's chundering. Boffy McBoffboff, we're gonna call Jaden Ward from now on. He looked like a graceful gazelle, but you looked like you were groveling a little bit. Yeah, I... I you, were, you were aero. I was aero, but I do my best to make everything look hard. Yes. Um, so we're riding for four days. Yes. And um, we're a bit nervous as to how we went because they had to be pulled apart yes. to go on an aeroplane. Oh yeah, we've got your bikes here. What, is there any main concerns? Is there any noise coming from them? There's plenty of noise coming from them. So the race starts tomorrow. Oh, don't worry, we'll fix it. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, a, I'm actually a professional mechanic. I've oh. got a TAFE certificate. Great. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Paul's Port Report, Port to Port 2019. That's a mouthful, isn't it, JD? The Pairs time trial, what do we think? 
That was great, I reckon. Yeah, it's. Um, well, I think you might have said in the commentary it was a bit weird seeing pairs racing out onto the course, and um, but I think it was really good. And um, already seeing like the break up between the women's pairs, males pairs, and mixed, and uh, a different format to start the event. It looked it's really fresh and really cool. I reckon. A bit of an appetizer before four days of hard racing. That's going to really sort the men from the boys and the strongest riders from the weaker riders. Yeah, I think so, and uh, the Ward brothers, who were, were probably our tip that might be able to take this out to start the event, um, it puts pressure on everyone else now, and they've got a little buffer with the time credit to start with, and uh, I think all of a sudden stage one is really interesting, especially with those big climbs that we're going to see straight away. Yeah, well, uh, we had uh, John and Trekkie, they didn't do a practice lap, which could have actually cost them in the end for that time trial, so they'll be hungry to make up for those mistakes. Yeah, I would have thought so. That's a, I would have thought it's a big error and they were turning up late and uh, the Ward boys are out there practicing and that might have been the difference for a couple of seconds. We look forward to having fun and uh, thanks for having us, JD. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, mate. <laughs> you had nothing to do with me being here, but thank you. No, thank you for so having We've me. actually got the official 7H logo here. Uh, these are the boys that uh, have allowed me to have free reign over the microphone for the next four days. Look out. Look out.